Hi, today I want to share with you about the fear or anxiety that many students, perhaps yourself watching this, sometimes feels with the thought of dancing, particularly with school dances. There's so much excitement and time we can think of. I'm seeing girls picking out their dresses and that sort. You know, there's just so much emotion as we're coming to the end of the school year and excitement. Then here we are as we have our prom or the end of the year graduation. How are we feeling about our dance? And do we have a date? Are we going to get asked? Do we ask? All these many things of fear and anxiety thinking that maybe we're not up to par and it's very bum when you feel like that. I know myself especially back I think it all starts around middle school where you are wanting to dance you want to have a lot of fun you're going there yes and you're hanging out with your friends kind of hanging there and you're hoping to dance and you see other people dancing but you know you don't have anyone to dance with and it can really be a sense of not enough. I'm not enough. Nobody asked me it's to, it, um, to dance. Maybe I'm not a good enough dancer. Maybe that's why they don't want to dance with me. And all the many things of that nature. Well, those just dominoes and builds on the different years as we go through school. And we have these awesome opportunities, whether it be the spring dance or back to school dance and things. And it's great that schools do that. But at the same time, it does bring up a lot of anxiety right alongside with, with excitement. In fact, you can hardly tell the difference, but until you're actually thrown into the, um, the moment. And with that, you can really tell the difference because that's when your limbic system of your brain starts dumping like the amygdala and all that fear that you maybe remember of not enough or not good enough with dancing, not what if I mess up, what if I embarrass myself, all those many, many fears that just grab you and it's dumping cortisol and stress hormones all through your body. That's why you get hyper sweaty. And you get maybe even a little stomach sickness. You don't even want to eat. You just feel like, ugh, you don't feel good, even though you're major excited about going and being with your uh, date on this dance. With Now what you do is you can snap and stop that right in the works. You don't have to stay in that state of anxiety. In fact, you can totally transcend it. What is the cool thing about this, you guys, is that with the study of neuroplasticity, you actually can change your brain and work with how with the tapping so that that fear no longer has to run you. Instead, you walk out there and have that date with full confidence, knowing that you can just nail it. You just feel good about yourself. It's not that you have to have any great show or anything. You just feel good. And feeling good, there's probably no way to describe it. It just feels yummy, I think. So what you do is when you have that feeling, you've got to pick your dress or, or you're not even there yet. Maybe you're still thinking about it and what you're going to do. You've got all these worries and fears. Maybe I shouldn't even go, right? Or if I go, well, I just won't really do this much or we'll just leave early. We'll just hang out here. Whatever it is you have, those fears are just pounding you and pounding you. So, Knock them back, punch them back then within yourself because say, that's not true. That is not true. And so when you're tapping, you're resetting and resetting that thought so that it actually causes kind of an interference where it resets it just like that circuit breaker. And so that you say, yes, I remember. I am awesome. I love myself. I have a lot of friends. I love dancing. I'm going to just have fun and I feel good about myself. But it doesn't start off that way. We tell ourselves, but maybe we don't believe it. 
So what we can do is we can start tapping. I like to start with the side of the hand. You can use either hand and state your fear because you've got your dance coming up and you want to feel good. And I encourage you to dance even just before you go to the dance or just before the doorbell rings, before you're picked up at your for, by your date. Tap then and let yourself talk to yourself. Be your voice. You're, you're thinking it. So now just give yourself a voice to express it. Maybe you don't have a safe person or you don't feel comfortable talking about your feelings. Well, now you can to yourself. You are hearing it. Your inner self, your little, your being is hearing you feel and express your feelings. I know it sounds silly, but it is amazing. That's why we have that little voice in our head going anyway. So just give it, you know, when we hear it, even right now, you're probably thinking, oh, this is kind of silly. Well, with that, now let's give it a voice. Even though I'm scared, I'm really afraid I'm going to embarrass myself in front of all my friends at the dance tonight. I accept how I feel and I know I'm good enough. In fact, I'm awesome. Even though I'm really afraid I'm going to embarrass myself in front of all my friends this dance and I feel it in my body my stomach feels queasy but I accept how I feel and I love myself anyway even though I feel really nervous about this dance tonight ugh, I just feel butterflies and almost sick to my stomach I accept and love how I feel and I'm good enough. In fact, I love myself. Say something, whatever is your affirmation and then go through the points and state your fear. I'm afraid I'm going to embarrass myself at the dance tonight. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so afraid I'm going to embarrass myself tonight. I really don't want to embarrass myself tonight. What if I embarrass myself in front of all my friends? I don't know if I can dance, go to the dance. Maybe I really shouldn't go. I'm afraid I'm going to embarrass myself to, tonight at the dance. I'm just afraid, period. I'm afraid of seeing my friends and what they're going to think of me. I am afraid. I'm embarrassed of this dance. And you really bring yourself to allowing yourself to say what you're feeling. If something bubbled up and say, you know, I'm really afraid. Last time I went, I remember I got so embarrassed because the punch landed on my dress and I felt so stupid. I, I thought I needed to go home. Oh, I'm so afraid I'm going to be embarrassed. Whatever might have bubbled up for you, <laughs> whether it be a spilt drink, or, or a time where friends maybe misunderstood you or you were just nervous or didn't think you danced good or you weren't this or you weren't that. Now, after a couple times, <sighs> I really do like dancing. I do enjoy myself when I go out with my friends, especially when we're dancing. I like to take control of myself and feel good. I don't need to feel afraid. In fact, I feel confident because I love when I'm dancing. I lose track of time. I enjoy it so much. And I have a really great date tonight. Or if you don't have a date, say, I know I'm going to have a great person to dance with tonight. My friends and I are going to thoroughly enjoy ourselves. We are going to have such a blast. And just tell yourself there as you conclude how it a wonderful time. And I know I feel confident and good. And I love dancing. And take a deep breath. And just blow away all that 
limiting belief that you're not a good enough dancer or date or have a time or afraid you'll be embarrassed because that's not true at all. Because what you've just done is you've reset your brain to literally know that, you know what, that was in the past. That was, that's not now at all. Here and now, I really feel good about going to the dance. And it lets you separate that past fear that was running you and burning your present moment of your dance. And so that you can feel good now about stepping into your future that you are now creating and saying, we're going to have a great time. And I'll see you all. Just have fun. Now with that, I think that that is really, I'm going to let you guys go so you can go and start having fun and practicing. I want to let you know this key point. When you are tapping, when you have fear, you are, you're having fear of, from something of a memory or a thought from the past. So remind yourself, that's the whole reason why you're tapping, is that memory of the past is creating this fear. And as you're tapping, it's resetting it and letting you realize at this present moment, that was then, at this moment, here and now, I am safe. I am safe and I am confident and I feel good and I am excited. And it lets you recreate now a new future so that as you are building on, it will just get better and better. Life really does feel good when you know the power of tapping and resetting how that you can create your future and not live in that past of those fear and anxiety. So step up to that dance floor and have some fun. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Happy tapping.